Hey everyone, Nick Busey here, and today I'm going to show you how to host a basic web server using Apache and Docker. We'll start with a basic directory listing, then I'll show you how to upload a simple static blog. Someone on Reddit requested this video. If you'd like to see a video on a particular topic, Linuxy topic, leave a comment below. I'm going to be using HomeLab OS to configure this since it's, in my opinion, the fastest way to get going with hosted Docker services. So um, you can just go ahead and search for HomeLab OS. I've already installed and set this all up. You can check out some of my other videos for a full HomeLab OS installation video. But let's assume you have it downloaded and configured for your server, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to turn on Apache 2. We're going to set enable Apache to, to true. And then we're going to update just Apache 2, just to be a little faster for this video here. So it will go ahead and install a Docker Compose file on your server, pointing to Apache, and start it up. And then your server will download the Apache 2 Docker image and run it. Um, the, the initial request for this video was to host a file directory. Um, so if you go to... Uh, open directories is just a listing of these a lot of potentially not legal files on here so you know do what you will but basically they look like this right a directory listing folders you can navigate around and you can download files so that's what we're going to be setting up today and it's by default going to configure it to use Apache 2 as a subdomain. Um, that might not be ideal for all use cases, so we have a configuration um, setting available right here, Apache 2 subdomain, um, that you can change to obviously whatever you want. So uh, the first round we're going to be setting up our open directory, so maybe we just call it files. And then when we put a blog up there, we can rename that to blog, obviously. And that would be for the blog. Um, so it looks like it's got Apache 2 set up on the server now. It copied the Docker Compose file over with all the, uh, and it started it. So let's go ahead and take a look in the server. and we should see the docker image running. If it's not running yet, it might still be pulling. So there's our Apache 2 image running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and configure my host file here. Um, rather than setting up DNS, I'm just going to use my host file to make things quick and easy. Um, but of course you can set this up with a real DNS server pointing to a real domain as well. Um, Apache 2. Dot, I think we're using test.local as the domain. Oh, not get. Make get. Or there it is. Yeah, bc. Dot, okay. So apache.bc.me. And then if I load that in a browser. There's my directory listing, right? So now I can go back over to my server. And <coughs> if I go to var home lab OS, Apache 2, this root folder contains everything. So if I make a new, say, a text file, save that, reload my, there's my text file. So any file I put in there will be served by Apache. So there's your Apache directory. But now let's say you want to host your blog. So I have a simple Hugo blog I have set up. So if I cd into my blog folder and run Hugo, it will build my static files for me. Uh, so here in public, you can see I have an index.html file. So if I move this public folder to and copy it over the Apache root folder. Reload. Oh well, I put it in the in the folder. 
there we go. So now I could, uh, you know, rename my Apache 2 subdomain to be my blog. And if I move the folder up, then it'll serve on the, on the actual subdomain. And there you go. So that's how they host a static site and a open directory using Apache 2, Docker, Ansible, and HomeLab OS. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.